What's up you guys, it's RJ. We are here to check out a new group to me, Vivis? I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure, but I'm getting into this group because I feel like I'm missing out. There's been so many things coming out with the challenge as well that I feel like all the boy groups that I'm into are all doing this challenge and I keep seeing and it's it's a move, this choreography. I, don't, I think it's from their latest song, which is Maniac, but either way, uh, they've got other music out. They are a newer group newer ish either way they've got just enough music out title track wise that i can do a video like this which is <laughs> perfect timing for me uh so yeah we're gonna check out all four of their music videos which is bop bop love aid pull up maniac and then i'm also gonna check out the untie performance video they do have a rum pum pum i think the song is called but i'll probably just check out that one on my own we are only dealing with three members here which fantastic very small amount of people that i get to know uh so let's actually check out who they are first before before we check out the music uh so let's go i'm really not sure if i'm even pronouncing the name of this group correctly but you guys let me know in the comments all right vivi's right vivi's is a three-member group under bpm entertainment the group consists of three former g friend members whoa so that's funny because you guys have asked been asking me to get into g friend which i actually planned to do this week uh but i'm actually gonna do next week so look out for that but that's very interesting that they're in that group. So this is actually kind of cool. I get to know them before I get to know G Friend. Bizarre backwards, but I guess it's fine. So we have Sinbi, Unha, and Umji. Umji? Umji? They debuted on February 9th, 2022 with the mini album Beam of Prism. Fandom name is Navi, like Avatar. Navi, pronounced like that. Wait, so this is actually interesting. So did they um did they get together and decide to redebut? I'm not exactly clear on what happened to G Friends and whatnot. I guess I'll probably find out when I do that video. Um, but I that's very cool that they came from the same group and then created a new group and then debuted again. Um, so that's awesome. So we have Unha. Unha, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Main vocalist, uh, May 30th, 1997. She only trained for two months under Source Music and got selected as a member of G Friend. Oh, uh, so G Friend was under Source Music. Isn't Source Music the same uh, as La Seraphim? Isn't that where La Seraphim is? I'm so curious what happened. Why, like, G Friend is not G Friend anymore? Sinbi, Sinbi, main dancer, vocalist, 19, June 3rd, 1998. She's known for looking like Jessica Chung. I could kind of see it, I think. Jessica Jung, that's, I mean, that's SNSD Jessica, right? That's what I'm thinking of. So if that's who it is, then I could kind of see it. And then finally we have Umji, which I think that's how it's pronounced as well. Lead dancer, vocalist, and Maknae. Uh, August 19th, 1998. The CEO of Source Music saw her walking on the street and invited her to make an audition. <laughs> it's crazy that stuff like this happens to people. You're just like casually walking down the street and minding your own business and then someone comes up to you and is like, please audition for my company. But the amount of idols I've seen have that same story. They're all just like, I thought this was a joke. <laughs> okay, so Unha, Unha, Sinbi, and Umji. This should not be difficult to remember. I'm trying to like, let their faces like become ingrained in my, my brain. <laughs> Uh, but I'll probably get it wrong anyway. But anyway, let's get on to the music. The funny thing is, is I think I saw like a random K-pop, like a K-pop random dance video, you know, where like there's like a bunch of people on the street and they start doing the the songs in like sections. Uh, I think one of their songs was on there. Don't know which one it was. I saw that video like a long time ago. So I guess we'll see which one it is, but this is their debut, Bop Bop. Let's go. Super colorful. Oh, that's cool. Whatever this sound effect thing happening. Oh, I like her voice, her tone. It's very tiny. She's so pretty. Oh. 
something a little throwback -y about this chorus. Oh, that vocal was nice. Pre-course is nice. <laughs> they destroyed everything. Something about this is making me think of after like What's happening? This song's cute. I like the choreo. Okay. Yeah, the song was making me... It, I, maybe I shouldn't say After Like. It wasn't so much After Like, but After Like has... Um, after Like is sampling that song, which I can't think of. It's by Gloria something. But that song is what this song also made me think of. Um, so I, was, I should say this song makes me, makes me think of that versus it making me think of After Like. I think this song had a very, um, very nice vibe to it dance-wise. I don't think this is a song I would listen to very often though, to be honest with you. It's not so much my taste, but I wouldn't be mad if it came on it because it, it does have a vibe where you just kind of want to move. Also, um, this member in the red, I'm trying to find like a specific like image of her close up because she looks a little bit like or she makes me think of Jinsel from Luna well no longer from Luna but uh now Odd Eye Circle but she looks a little bit like Jinsel in like some particular lights it just has to happen the right way but anyways let's move on it's a shame these videos don't have lyrics so far at least but the next one we have is Love Aid let's go summer vibes oh this came on July summer vibes what the fuck Love that vocal and harmony. Pretty. That poor guy. <laughs> Oh. 
happening? It's like a science experiment. Oh, I love the harmonies and the ad libs. They're so subtle. So strange, but I love it. Oh, this is my favorite one. <laughs> That's only been two. Oh, the production's so good. I love their outfits. Let's go, outro. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> How are you alive, sir? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we shot you with arrows. <laughs> Have some limeade or whatever the hell this is. <laughs> wow. That was definitely my favorite one. Um, th you know, this is a type of song I feel like I would love to hear like an instrumental, um, like separate because there was something so, I guess to me, it felt very different. Like the, uh, the instrumental, like the production, very well done, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I think there was just something very fun about it. I think the way that they layered their ad-libs and the way they layered their harmonies throughout the song were placed so nicely in, in very specific parts of the song. Like the pre-chorus was so nice. The chorus, I love this choreography too. I imagine this became like a dance challenge thing, trying to do I can, whatever they're doing here. I don't know, um, but it's very nice. The set pieces were all really pretty and the bridge was so, strange i honestly couldn't really grasp what was happening but that made me like it a lot because i don't know it's just so bizarre maybe bizarre bizarre feels like it sounds a bit crazier than it actually is i think there was just something very different about it i can't really put my finger on it but there was just something in the instrumental that sat that had like a particular zing to it that it just it connected i also love that this had an outro too like i'm glad they brought that part back uh, with the love it, love it part, and then ended it with that. That was great. Yeah, this will be a playlist song for me. Um, I'm wondering if anything's gonna beat this, but we'll go to the next one and we'll see. Okay, next one we have is Pull Up. Let's go. Oh, we're in a different vibe now. Oh, this outfit. Girl, wow. And the flames in the background. The vocals are beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love her hair. Oh. Hey. Oh. 
The fits though. Ooh. I saw the hair flip. She's rocking that outfit. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. There's something just so dope about this whole video. Just the whole vibe. It screams badass. And just everything about it. For one thing, everything they're wearing in this video is just like a 10 out of 10. I also really love the chorus, really love the verses, the pre-chorus. The whole song was pretty much a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I love the post-chorus as well, which I think is the part where it had Actually, you know what? I probably need to listen to this song again because I, I think there was a point where I couldn't tell if we were in the chorus or the post chorus. But I think the post chorus is the section where it had like the horn combination with like the beat, like not, not the beat, the bass, like the really heavy bass part. Um, I think that was the post chorus. I'm pretty sure. Regardless, though, I think the whole thing was just very nice. I loved the choreo. I feel like that was a dance challenge as well. There was something about that, the way they were moving their hips there that I felt like I had seen before, but I can't confirm. But I do know I like their vocals a lot. Like this was another example of the harmonies and the ad-libs being used uh, very specifically and in very nice places too. Okay, we have arrived at Maniac, which is their latest title track that just came out. Oh, it's been a month. I didn't realize. So yeah, finally get to hear the full song. Let's go. pre-chorus seriously is everything everybody is so pretty right. 
Ooh. Right into the bridge. <laughs> the choreo. Hey, oh, here we go. Sick. That's probably one of the best like pre-choruses I've heard all year, I think. It was just so beautiful. I think especially like it gave me that like floaty vibe, that kind of music that just makes you feel like you're like floating in the clouds, you know, especially with the vocals it was just so pretty. Uh, yeah, I love the song, love the song, love the choreo. And I was waiting for that moment because the choreo for this video has been everywhere. Okay, we have arrived at our final track, which is Untie, which is their performance video. Strangely, this is the one that has lyrics, but the music videos don't. The math ain't mathin', but okay, let's go. Uh-oh. The fits. <laughs> I think she might be my favorite. Love the choreo. Beautiful pictures. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> Sorry. It's the hair flips. You guys know how I feel about that. If you know, you know. I love it. Hairography all day. Not the red. <laughs> oh, this chorus. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, wow. Wow, this choreo. Oh, that was beautiful. So funny. The, the lyrics. Ooh. Hey. 
I can't with the chest pops though. Oh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. I'm assuming that was a B-side on the latest like mini album situation thing, I guess. I loved everything about that. Everything. You know what it actually kind of made me think of is only one of's libido guilty pleasure performance. Like with the, it was the colors that was doing it for me and like the sexiness of the presentation with the lights and then you go with the red and it just makes the whole thing just kind of pop. Like it was really good. Loved that performance video. Everything about it. The choreo was on it. The song was on it. Everything about it was just like checking off every box for me. Also the almost kind of like whisper that they were doing in like the way they were delivering their lines. I thought that was very well done. Um, yeah, the hair flipping, <laughs> please. It was just so good. That was great. Definitely excited to rewatch and listen to all of those again. Um, yeah, I had a good time with this group. I, again, if you guys can let me know in the comments how exactly this group is pronounced, I'm pretty sure it's Vivi's, Vivi's, like Vivi, but Z. <laughs> but yeah, I had a blast checking this out. Like that, they're, they're very, very talented. And it makes me excited to check out GFriend, which I will be doing, like I said, so, um, I, I'm glad I got to know this group, so maybe I'll have their their faces in mind uh, when I go into GFriend. Don't guarantee that I'll be able to recognize them, but we shall see. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.